Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Solve for the value of a plus b given that a cubed minus 3a squared plus 5a minus 17 equals to 0 and b cubed minus 3b squared plus 5b plus 11 equals 0. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. By the way, this question, this challenge question comes from Irish Mathematical Olympiad. Now, let's answer this question. First thing to do is to get this equation. We have a cubed minus 3a squared plus 5a minus 17 equals 0. Now, how are we going to answer this question? One thing to notice is the first two terms, a cubed minus 3a squared. This reminds me of the expansion of x minus 1 cubed. So we have x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1. Now, how are we going to relate this expansion, this identity, to our given equation right here? Now, let's focus first on these two terms, a cubed minus 3a squared. This is similar to x cubed minus 3x squared. Now, to use this identity, we need 3a and minus 1 or negative 1. So let's get 3a from 5a. So let's break this 5a into 3a plus 2a. Now we have 3a. And then we want negative 1 or minus 1. So let's minus 1 on this expression. And since we subtract 1, what we're going to do is to add 1 to balance our equation. So negative 1 and positive 1 is just 0. Now, negative 17 plus 1 is just negative 16. And take note that this a cubed minus 3a squared plus 3a minus 1 is just a minus 1 raised to 3. Now, let's get the second equation and we will do the same thing. So, let's focus on these first two terms, b cubed minus 3b squared. We want 3b, so let's break this 5b into 3b plus 2b. Now, we have 3b. And then, let's subtract 1, and of course, we need to add 1 to make it balance. Now, this expression, b cubed minus 3b squared plus 3b minus 1 can be written as b minus 1 raised to 3. Now, let's simplify. 11 plus 1 is just 12. Now, let's focus on what we want to find. We want a plus b. And notice that we have a and b on both equation. So what we're going to do is to add these two equation like this. So we have a minus 1 cubed plus b minus 1 cubed plus 2a plus 2b plus 12 minus 16. Now 12 minus 16 is just negative 4. Now I see something beautiful. So what we're going to do is to factor out 2 on 2a, 2b, and negative 4. If we do that, we get 2 times the quantity a plus b minus 2. Now, let's focus on these two terms. a minus 1 cube plus b minus 1 cube. Notice that this is the sum of two cubes. Therefore, we can use this identity x cubed plus y cubed is equivalent to x plus y multiplied by x squared minus xy plus y squared wherein this x represents a minus 1 and this y represents b minus 1. Therefore, if we factor these two terms, this will give us, again, x is just a minus 1 and y represents b minus 1. So this will give us a minus 1 plus b minus 1 multiplied by x represents a minus 1. So we have a minus 1 squared minus a minus 1 times b minus 1 plus b minus 1 quantity squared. And now, let's focus on this factor. a minus 1 plus b minus 1. Negative 1 minus 1 is just negative 2. And this is familiar because we also have this factor on the other term. So we have a common factor of a plus b minus 2. 
Therefore, we can factor out this factor. And now, since we want the value of a plus b, and this equation is equal to 0, it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. And since we are interested to the sum of a and b, therefore, we want a plus b minus 2 equals to 0. Now, if we add 2 on both sides, we get the value of a plus b must be equal to 2. Therefore, given these two equations, then the value of a plus b must be equal to 2. And as always, we are done.